Welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah, if you don't know me. And this is Lily, my rescue dog. She doesn't look like a rescue dog, right? <laughs> um, I started my YouTube channel to follow my journey becoming a single mother by choice um, and going through IVF as well as getting diagnosed with endometrial cancer and PCOS. So if any of those topics appeal to you at all, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload new videos. So normally my videos um, are all pretty similar. I'm sitting at the dining room table um, with makeup on and trying to be presentable. Um, today I just did not feel like putting mascara on, but I really felt like I had to film this video today because um, I wanted to keep you guys updated. I had my uh, lining check and blood work done. Um, and I actually filmed a little bit of footage on my way to my appointment and a little bit on my way back from my appointment. So I will insert that here. I am on my way to my lining check ultrasound and blood work and I am so excited I've been waiting for this for what seems like forever anybody in the IVF world knows that it is a lot of waiting a lot um, if you think back to when I started started this whole process decided to freeze my eggs back um, well originally back in January which is like what 11 months ago 10 months ago um, but then my first you know appointment to start the process was in April so that's eight months ago um, then I they found the polyp so I had to have surgery to remove it and then they found out that was cancerous so then I had to have a DNC surgery to see if the cancer spread and all my MRIs and CAT scans and then I finally did freeze my eggs in August after the cancer was not there anymore. And then I got ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which just was absolutely awful. It, gosh, it's just been a lot. Then I had another DNC surgery um, to make sure the cancer was still gone. Then I was allowed to proceed um, to get ready for this frozen embryo transfer. So it really has been just... <laughs> And again, I think I've said before, I know that there are a lot of couples out there that have been on a much longer journey than me, or, or single moms by choice too, but um, on YouTube mostly, I find a lot of couples sharing their journey and um, they've had a lot of either failed IVF cycles, um, failed embryo transfers and all that, so I my heart goes out to, to everybody going through this because it's hard. It's a lot. Um, I keep looking. I'm, I'm holding my, I need to get like some sort of like car mount or something if I'm going to be doing this in the future. But I keep looking at my GPS. Even though I've been here about 72 times, I really should be able to like drive here in my sleep. But um, headed to Beachwood from Strongsville. So it's about a 40 minute drive. And of course I'm running late and I'm trying to make up time. And gosh darn it, I'm, <laughs> I'm up. My ETA is 7.33, um, started off at 7.32 and I was hoping to make those two minutes up and now somehow I am gonna be three minutes late. I'm always late. Anybody else always late to everything? Just by a couple minutes. I hear that people who are always late just by a couple minutes are like smarter. <laughs> who knows if that's right, but I'm gonna go with it. So, all right. Anyways, so I am um, hoping. I've been visualizing that my lining is gonna be at least nine millimeters. I know. I think they want it to be at least seven, but I've read. I've done a lot of research, and I've read a lot of like articles and studies and all kinds of stuff um, that when your lining is at least eight millimeters that your chance of um, implantation or not having a miscarriage are higher so yeah um, so I'm hoping for nine and if it's not 
then they, you know, will probably monitor me again, like keep me on the estrogen a little bit longer and then check me again. But I would love to get this show on the road. So um, really hoping for a good lining check. Oh, and the triple stripe. Gotta have the triple stripe. So, um, and then my estrogen, they want to be at least 150, I think. I'm curious to see if my estrogen is like really high uh, again, if, um, if, if I respond, if my body responds at all to the estrogen pills I'm taking now, like I did when I was doing the stimulation meds before my egg retrieval, when my estrogen was super, super high. Like I'm wondering if my estrogen can be too high. I guess we'll find out. I have lots of questions. I wrote down all my questions. Um, and I will let you guys know the outcome as soon as I uh, finish. Although I'll know, I'll probably know my, my lining situation after this appointment, but I might have to wait until the call uh, this afternoon from the nurse. Um, yeah, I will have to wait to find out about my estrogen level, so. But if everything looks good, my embryo transfer would be a week from today or potentially, which is November 30th or potentially December 1st. So I should probably concentrate now on driving. When my mom watches this, she's probably gonna freak out. Sorry, mom. I'm being very careful. Um, and I will check in with you guys soon. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, it is 10.15. drawn pretty quickly but uh, then I had to wait a really long time for my ultrasound and then a pretty long time for my nurse visit so I was really um, hoping that my lining would be like nine millimeters as I was saying and um, I think it was closer to seven so I have to wait to see what the doctor says uh, the nurse is gonna call me this afternoon but I, I'm like, a, I don't know, I'm like afraid, like if they say, okay, you're good for the transfer, like I've just read that it's just really so much better to have like eight millimeters to nine millimeters um, thickness versus seven. So like, I don't know, I mean, obviously I'm supposed to trust my doctors. I just want, I mean, this is just my, like, my one embryo. This is like, uh, it's not like I have the option to do it again and again and again. I, have, I would have to start all over again. And that just really scares me. So I just want to make sure that, like, everybody is doing absolutely everything they can to make sure that this is successful. I don't want to risk anything or chance anything. Um, so I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really emotional. I just like was really hoping um, that I would, it would at least be eight millimeters. So hopefully, you know, I was hoping for nine. And it's, I just feel like I've had so many disappointments um, throughout this whole process. Like, Another one, and I just I'm so I'm just nervous and scared. Um, so we'll see what they say. I'm trying so hard to stay positive, but I just like it's just really hard. So I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so uh, sorry for being emotional. Um, again, in this video, I've been emotional in a couple of my videos now, but um, I just, that's just how I'm feeling today. So, um, and I feel like it's important when you're documenting IVF stuff to be real and not act like it's all sunshine and rainbows, because typically it's not. <laughs> 
So, um, so I did get um, a call from the nurse uh, later this afternoon after I got home and she said that the doctor said that we will um, check my lining again on Friday, uh, so the day after Thanksgiving. And um, so I'm gonna stay on the estrogen a little bit longer, which by the way, my estrogen is 343, estradiol is 343. They wanted it to be above 150. Um, I figured my estradiol was gonna be higher than average or normal. Um, for this situation because it seems like my estrogen gets really high really easily um, in response to medication. So because of my PCOS, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, so we're going to check my lining again on Friday and I'm really hoping that it gets uh, quite a bit thicker by then. And if that is the case, then my transfer would be as early as, um, I think it's December 3rd. So I'm hoping for that um, and I will let you guys know how my appointment goes on Friday. So I hope you guys are having a good day and um, or night <laughs> and I will see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.